Hey guys, in this video we're going to do a quick review of the Atlas 46 Yorktown Tool Roll. Also the Milwaukee M12 Cordless Rotary Tool. And we're also going to do a quick space saving hack to keep your sockets organized in your tool roll. So I've had this tool roll for about a year now and I'm really, really digging it. It holds a lot of tools, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and you can see it's pretty hefty. I've got a lot of stuff in here. So to open it, it's pretty easy. You just unroll it here and it falls open. So turn it over on this side, you got room for wrenches, some other flat wrenches in here, so that's the outside part. Flip it over again, I've got one, two, three, four, five compartments. In this compartment, I have screwdrivers and Allen wrenches and all kinds of stuff. On this side, I've got vice grips, needle nose pliers, adjustable wrenches, all kinds of stuff in here wire cutters, and then on this side, I've got all my sockets. So I've got socket wrenches of different sizes, I've got extensions, I've got wobbles, I've got all kinds of stuff in there. And then in here, I have a cordless, um, what's this called? Cordless ratchet. And then a bunch of other ratchets and some more flat wrenches in there. And then over here on this side, just some miscellaneous stuff. I got some JB Weld, some electrical tape, um, ties and little things like that. So lots of stuff in here. One quick tip when you drive around with a cordless ratchet in your bag, I always leave the battery disconnected just so that it doesn't accidentally trigger and waste the battery, okay? So the cool thing actually is that the battery that works for the cordless ratchet also works on this guy here. So originally what I used to do was I used to have all of my long sockets here in little drawstring pouches, kind of like this. And in fact, in this one I've got hex sockets and stuff like that. So it, it works pretty well, but it's a little hard to find things when you need to. And with these long sockets, I figured it would be cool to just stick them on a long piece of threaded rod and then put some washers and some nuts on here. So if you wanted to take it off, I could just twist it off. And then pull this thing off like that. So super, super simple. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. Obviously this threaded rod is a little bit too long, so it's not gonna fit inside of my tool roll. But that's why I have this rotary tool. So what we're gonna do is safety first, eye protection. And then what we're going to do is just going to turn this guy on. And we're going to trim this down. So. Oops, I go that way. Cool. So the next thing I'll do is I'll take a file to just kind of clean that up. But. It should now fit really nicely inside the bag. And there we go. So pretty neat little hack. Now I've got my long sockets easily accessible and they're really, really easy to find what I'm looking for instead of the way I had them before in this little drawstring pouch. With this guy, I had to dump everything out and it's made a mess. And so this is just real, a real nice, easy way to find what I'm looking for. And it fits nicely and a little bit more smoothly inside of the pouch here. Before it would bulk up because this little pouch would kind of sit here and it would take up a bunch of weird space. But this, I think, will help the bag roll up a whole lot nicer. But to close the tool roll, it's pretty simple. You just grab this strap, you lift up, and it closes the bag for you. Take this strap over here, buckle it in, and you're good to go. I like to tighten it down to make it as small as possible. And when I'm done, I just throw it in the back of the truck or right behind the driver's seat. It's really nice and convenient so you can get to it quickly. Um, so that's just a quick review of the Atlas 46 Yorktown tool roll and the Milwaukee M12 rotary tool. I love that it's cordless. I don't like cords, they just get in the way and they're, they're kind of a mess. So this is nice because I can just switch the battery out and use different tools, but really, really convenient. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more tool reviews and DIY hacks and projects on the Overland truck, as well as another project I'm really excited about that will be coming soon. So see you next time.